Hi, I'm Sarah Larson. I'm 20 years old. I was diagnosed with my panic disorder when I was, I think I was like six or seven, was when I was like officially diagnosed. They usually last a couple hours. Sometimes they're only 30 minutes, sometimes they're like a whole day. It just, it just varies. The longest panic attack I've ever had was three and a half, four days. It was when I graduated from high school and I decided to go away to school and it was my first time away from home and everything so it just kind of built up and just for like that whole time it was like four days I didn't really it's like I didn't really eat I couldn't do anything so I lost weight it was not fun but I ended up coming home from that whole situation after Sarah got her diagnosis from the doctor um, I was heartbroken I was Um, frustrated, yet I was grateful that we had the diagnosis. Um, she had struggled for a while, and now finally having an answer um, brought me a lot of peace and knowing that she would get help. Panic disorders do run in our family. Um, all my siblings have had some sort of anxiety um, during their life. I was the one who had it the most severe. But 40 plus years ago, they didn't have as much information about it. So I wasn't officially diagnosed with anxiety until I was a junior in high school. A typical attack, I wanna like isolate myself from everyone. Like if everyone kind of knows, they're like, oh, are you okay? They'll like sympathy and then that makes me feel like, oh, there is something wrong with me. Is Sarah's development over time with her panic disorder, I've seen it get better. Uh, I remember when she was younger, um, probably junior high, high school, uh, she would sometimes just get really, really quiet, kind of keep to herself, and then go to her room. And you could tell she was nervous or anxious about something because she either wouldn't talk or she wouldn't eat. There was one time I didn't eat. It was um, when my longest panic attack was like four days. I, I mean, I ate, but it was just kind of like crackers and like two spoons of cereal, like every once in a while. But like I didn't really eat a meal. So I lost like 15 pounds. I lost a lot of weight. The one person that has always been there for me um, would be my mom. Um, main, well, mainly because she's my mom. But she also, she does have anxiety also. So she understands, she can relate to what I'm going through because she she's dealt with it her whole life. So it really helps when she's there. Oh. Aww. Oh, I love you. She's she's thick. Oh, she's thick with double C. She oh, is. Yes. <laughs> she's thick with double C. You're thick. She's so cute. One of the places I like to go to help me kind of like decompress and relax is definitely the beach. I I don't know. Just something about the ocean. This just gives off a really calming vibe. You just kind of sit in the sand the ocean breeze that really helps going on a drive like having someone drive and like just I don't know something about drives really helps I'm Michelle Ramos I'm 19 and I'm one of Sarah Larson's best friends I've known Sarah since high school so six years I knew about her panic disorder um, about a year after I met her she told me about it and uh, I had no idea because she tends to hide her panic attacks very well so Sarah is doing much better at letting me know when she has a panic attack. Uh, for a long time, especially when she was little, she'd like to hide it. Um, I don't know if it was due because she was embarrassed or ashamed or not quite knowing how to deal with it. Because when you are little and you've got all these overwhelming feelings, your heart's beating, you're sweating, you feel like you're going crazy, um, of course you want to hide it. Sometimes, she told me once, um, when she has a panic attack, her jaw, she starts like grinding her, her teeth and she gets really quiet. And usually when she's quiet, because you know, she's usually like really loud and like, you know, she's Sarah. And um, when she gets quiet, that's when I know something's wrong. What are you doing? Sometimes I'll just wake up in a panic 
like sometimes it's like I'll just wake up from a sleep and I'll be like sweaty and I'll shake and I'll be like great it's just gonna be like this all day your brain's telling you something's wrong when it's only in your mind so your body's acting like and it's in a panic state but there's no real reason for you to be panicking The medication I take, it's called Zoloft. It's classified as an antidepressant. Um, it does help, but I don't want to be dependent on medication anymore. I'd rather just kind of deal with it on my own. My sister comforts me. She helps me a lot to get distracted because, like, that's her thing. Like, if you're distracted, it helps a lot. So she'll help me. She'll like, let's go watch this movie. Let's go for a drive or something. Let's go get like slushies, something like that. My four day adventure in um, when I went away to college. These are the two that I colored. This one I actually didn't finish, but this one I finished. This is when I was having a panic attack. I'm surprised I was able to color it inside the lines. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this really helps because it just like I don't know, it's just really soothing to do. To get my mind off the effects of my disorder, I've turned to music. I play the guitar, I used to play the drums, um, I sometimes play the piano. Uh, listening to music too, that'll help me get my mind off things. Someone who's going through something similar to this, or who just has anxiety, um, my advice would be to just try not to fight it, because fighting it only prolongs it and makes it worse. Just kind of ride the wave, I guess. Um, even though it's a choppy wave, even though it, in the moment it doesn't feel like it's ever going to end. Just, you'll get through it. Because like, there's been plenty of times where I'm like, it's not going to end, it's like... Just, you'll get through it. Just always know that there are people there for you. Even though it feels like you're just alone, there's always going to be someone there.